and gentlemen, this is Lions Den with another news and commentary. There's been another police-involved shooting, y'all, in New Orleans. Now, this time, the brother survived because the officer shot him in the leg. But this, this could have been a lot worse. Um, this article comes from Fox A in New Orleans. Um, it says, my son could be dead. NOPD officer may have violated policies during traffic stop that ended in shooting. A New Orleans police chief, Sean Ferguson, on Friday released body cam footage of an officer-involved shooting in New Orleans East. Ferguson said he has concerns about the footage and says there were administrative violations. The shooting occurred on March 10th in the 4300 block of Werner, Werner Drive. According to the NOPD, an officer noticed a suspicious vehicle parked at a location around 9.30 a.m. with two men sitting inside. In the video, two officers, Isaiah Shannon and Marcus Carwell, are seen approaching the vehicle. Carwell approaches the driver's side. Shannon approaches the passenger side with his guns drawn behind his back. Carwell told the driver he parked on the wrong side of the road, facing the wrong way. Shannon asked the passenger, Anthony Cowart, if the two had been smoking and said he smelled marijuana. At, at, the, at the same time, a witness crossing the street is heard saying he got a gun, he got a gun. Officer Shannon, Officer Shannon asked both men to get out of the car. They complied. While Carwell begins detaining this driver, Coward tried to run past Shannon. Officer Shannon grabs Coward with his left hand still holding his pistol in his right. The, the two begin to struggle. Coward swings his arm at the officer, trying to get away. During the struggle, Shannon struck Coward with his gun, causing a magazine to fall out. The officer's weapon out of the frame of the, of the video, then discharge a bullet still in the chamber, striking Coward in the leg. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the oh, this is the body cam video of the incident, um, and it continues says, "My son deserves better. Family, my family deserves better." Coward's mother said in a statement provided to Fox Eight, "This police officer had no business patrolling the streets of this of this city with a gun. He was fired once, and he should never been put back on the street." Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna stop you right there. So, you know, this officer had a had a pass. They fired this officer, and they brought him back in, on the force. I don't understand what's going on. And it's, this, is, this is very, this is not a surprise because this is what police officers do. When they fire at one precinct, they hire in another. And this, this situation has to stop because um, luckily he's still alive. And luckily he, had a, he was shot in the leg, not anywhere else. Because if it's anywhere else, he would be another hashtag. And it, it would be all over social media. And it would have been another Black Lives Matter protest in the city of New Orleans. So, you know, this is, this is, I'm telling you, this is already showing you that police officers want to shoot first and ask questions later. So let's continue. It says, my son lives in America and is very aware of recent police killings of young black men. He sensed danger and tried to get away from it. This officer shot my son like a dog and proceeded to beat him for no reason. My son could be dead. The, st the statement continues. This abuse has to stop for my son and the next young man who may not be so lucky. We cannot function as a community with this terror being inflicted on young black men every day. They grow up afraid and harassed when they should grow up supported and uplifted. We need accountability for what happened, what has happened here before we can, you know, begin healing. Coward's attorney, Jonathan Adcock, said police must explain why this occurred. There must be a full investigation into why this officer was allowed to return to patrol and to carry a gun given what the NOPD knew about his history. The NOPD must explain why this occurred. The citizens of New Orleans are entitled to feel safe when they come in contact with a police officer, Adcock says. Ferguson said it is, it is unclear whether Shannon intentionally fired the bullet or not. The man was transported to a local hospital for treatment, then into custody, charged with resisting arrest and illegal drug possession. At his bail hearing the next day, a judge ruled there was no probable cause for the arrest and the man was released. 
In a press conference on Friday, Ferguson asked for the driver to come forward, assuring him there would be no charge charges filed against him. An investigation is underway involving Officer Shannon's actions. We need help providing context to what occurred, Ferguson said. We are asking you to come as a witness. We encourage you to come with your attorney. Carwell is expected to return to normal patrol duties. Shannon is on desk duty indefinitely. Ferguson says Shannon will be likely to provide a statement to investigators soon. See, Shannon should have been fired. This should have, this, she should, he should have been off the force. You know, if I mean, he was fired once, but they brought him back in another precinct. This is what police officers do. Every time they get involved in stuff, they, they even though they terminate on one precinct, they hire in a, on another. And so again, the luckily that young man is still alive. He only got shot in the leg, but it could have been worse. He could have been another hashtag, y'all. And again, this is what I'm saying, the continuation of shooting people randomly without even ask. I mean, first of all, they said he, he they said he was um, um, parked on the wrong side of the street. OK, it was a parking violation. All of a sudden, it, it became a it became a shooting. So I'm going to finish this article. It said the release of the video of this, the release of the video is part of the NOPD's pledge to be more transparent by releasing videos in a timely manner after the incident. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the Fox 8 New Orleans article. I'm glad that this young man is still alive to talk, tell his story because he could have been another hashtag, y'all. He could have been another person who was killed unarmed by the hands of the police. But see, these officers need to be held accountable. I got a feeling that I mean, they put him on desk duty. Man, they should have fired his ass. I mean, that, that is unacceptable. How could, I mean, the dude run away from you. I mean, try to fight off, try to run away from you. And then once you catch him, you shot this man in the leg. Yeah, this officer need to be fired. But they're not going to do a damn thing. Like, I mean, again, it shows you, y'all, that the, that the police, I mean, any police department you've been to, and a lot of people say there's only one bad apple. Really. If you're a good cop, you, I mean, it felt like if you were a good cop, you saw something, but you're not going to snitch on anybody. That shows you what kind of cop you are. So, y'all, tell me what you think about this. I mean, I'm glad that he's still alive to tell his story. I'm glad that ain't nothing happened to him. You know, it, like I said, it could have been worse. But it shows you how police officers are thinking that they can get away with it. But at the end of the day, you got you got busted now. And 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 again, sometimes you have to understand why does the police department even brought him back? Because he got it, he got some he got another incident before, and they fired him on one precinct, but they brought this they brought this guy back. Which is crazy. So y'all let me know what you think. Like, click, subscribe, and remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.